What's going on everyone? My name is Ryan Roots and I am a full-time online reseller. What that means is that I buy stuff and then I resell it online on platforms like eBay and Amazon and I make a full-time living doing that. This YouTube channel is all about our journey in reselling and then also about teaching people how we do what we do. So if you're into channels like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you 13 items that we sold recently. We sold these items in the past in the past seven days. I'm gonna show you the items that we sold and how much they sold for, um, but before we get into that, I kind of want to go through the numbers. So we're going to do this a bit in reverse. I want to talk to you about gross profit and net profit. So we ran a sale on eBay and we sold these 13 items under that sale. And the total gross revenue that the 13 items brought in was $778. So across the board, that's an average gross sales price of about 60 bucks. So when sellers talk about gross sales amount, that's the top line number. That's um, you haven't taken out your cost of goods, you haven't taken out your overhead, your cost to ship the items, you haven't taken anything out. So it's just the total amount of money that the business has brought in. So again, on 13 items, that number for us was $778. Now on these 13 items, we have a net margin of right around 60%. So our costs, again, stuff like shipping, stuff like the original costs that we paid for the item, we have overhead. So we have stuff like fees that we pay employees to list the items for us. We have rent, we have electricity, stuff like that. So our, our costs on these items was 40%. So on the 13 items that I'm gonna show you in today's video, our net profit, so before tax, right? So this is pre-tax profit. It's net, but obviously Uncle Sam still has to take his cut. Um, so this is our profit pre-tax was $466. It works out to right about $36 per item if you average it across the 13 items. So a $36 average sales price, ASP is what we call that, um, brings us to right around, it would bring us to 468, um, but it was actually $466 because there were like a couple pennies that um, I rounded up. And again, these 13 items that I'm about to show you were sold between September 7th and September 12th. So a total of six days. It's not everything that we sold within that six days, um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of the, the period of time that these items sold. So again, I'm saying this right at the beginning of the video because I think it's important to know the difference between gross profit, that top line number, and net profit, that bottom line number before taxes. Um, and I think that you have to know that as a reseller going into this game, um, because if you're if you're bringing in fifty dollars and your costs are sixty dollars, you're losing money. So it's very important to know what your net profit number is. Anyway, with that being said, guys, let's get into these thirteen items. Oh, and by the way, like I said, we did run a sale on our eBay store. We do that from time to time just to kind of kickstart things back. Um, if we have like a slow time on eBay, we'll run a sale. Um, in this case, we ran a thirty percent off sale and we sold these items at 30% off. So starting off, we'll start with this men's The North Face jacket. Um, jackets have definitely picked up for us going into the colder weather season. It's still very hot for us in Florida, um, but we're starting to get into those cooler months now. So this jacket we took a best offer on and it sold for $48 shipped. Next up, we've been selling a ton of shoes and boots lately. Um, this is a great brand, Timberland. Uh, it's just a pair of black men's leather boots and these sold for $74 shipped. Next up, you guys know that we love to sell vintage clothing and this is a t-shirt from 1996. It is X-Files and this one was listed for a little while. We bought this at a thrift store. I think I paid around two or three bucks for it um, and it ended up selling for a best offer of $40 shipped. Next up, another pair of shoes or boots. Um, this is Eco or Echo brand boots. Allison, my wife and my business partner found these at a thrift store and we ended up selling them for $55 shipped. We don't sell a whole ton of denim, uh, but we will if the brand is good enough and Big Star is a brand that sells very well for us. So we sold this pair of men's Big Star jeans and during the sale, they sold for $32 even shipped. Another thrift store find, I found this at a Goodwill. I believe this was in a past video. Um, it is a pool cue, so a pool stick. And um, I think I paid up for it. I wanna say I paid like between 20 to $25 for this item. But again, we put it on sale and it ended up selling for us for almost $100. It sold for $98 shipped. 
Another X-Files vintage t-shirt. Uh, I found this one the same time that I found the other one at the same thrift store. So again, paid two to three dollars for it. This one was from 1995, so it was a vintage item. Again, when we talk about vintage t-shirts, uh, anything that's 20 years or older is considered vintage for us. And I believe that is pretty much throughout the industry, that's what's accepted for vintage clothing. 20 years or more is considered vintage. So again, this one was from 1995 and it sold for us for $56 shipped. We don't sell a ton of like plates and cutlery and kitchenware, I guess you could call it. Um, unless it's collectible like this item. This is a Royal Dalton plate. Allison picked this one up. I don't remember exactly what she paid for it. I wanna say it was less than $10. And it's one of those items that will sit for a while because you have to find the right buyer on eBay. Um, but eventually we did find the right buyer. And after we ran the sale, this plate ended up selling for $49 shipped. Keeping it going, we love selling electronics and cash registers are on that list as well. We actually sold quite a few cash registers on eBay. They tend to sell well for us. Um, a lot of people shy away from them because they are big and they're a bit scared to ship them. Um, but shipping's been pretty easy for us lately on some of these larger items. I believe we shipped this one out and it cost us FedEx Smart Post. I believe it cost us around like 14 or $15 to ship it. Um, and we sold this cash register for $75 shipped. Another electronic, again, love selling stuff like this. This is a Slingbox 500. If you guys remember, if you watch our garage sale videos where we go to garage sales and find stuff that we can buy and resell online, that's where we picked this one up. I believe if my memory is correct, we paid $20 for the Slingbox, maybe 25 but 20 or $25 and it sold for $104.97. So $105, $20 into 105, not much to ship. We definitely made some decent profit on that item. One of our favorite categories to sell in is video games. Um, there just seems to be an endless market for it, uh, especially the ones that are branded or have a good following like Pokemon. So this was a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire game used from 2014 and it sold for $27.28 shipped. Back to shoes, when we buy shoes, we always look out for, again, those better brands um, like Nike. And this is a pair of Nike Shocks. I believe we picked these up at a Goodwill for, I think we paid about $8, eight or $9 for these shoes and they sold for $59.50. And last but not least, another vintage t-shirt. This one was a Dallas Cowboys t-shirt and it sold on eBay for $59.50. Now this one, I actually did source a different way. I sourced it, I sourced it online and I sold it online. So that's called online arbitrage. Um, I can't say exactly where I sourced it from, um, but just to let you guys know, that is another way to find inventory. Um, I think I paid about $20 for this shirt. And again, it sold for almost 60 bucks. And that's it guys, there you go. That's 13 items. I hope that you appreciated this video. Um, I tried again to, to break it down into numbers that everybody can understand and show the difference between gross profit and net profit because I do think that is very important to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button on this video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you on the next video. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace out guys, bye.